So, you're on Facebook and you watch YouTube videos, but you're thinking maybe it's time to use social media for my science. Well, the good news is you're not late to the game. The numbers aren't well documented, but only a minority of scientists are using these platforms to communicate with the public. Which do you use? Well, that depends on your goals and your personality. If your science is photogenic, then Instagram might be for you. If you're an entertainer, then perhaps TikTok is your home. The most popular overall is Twitter. It's a great compromise between media and text, and it facilitates fast conversations. Plus, it's where the traditional media and your colleagues are. But remember that all of these platforms serve limited audiences, and each audience varies by education, age, income, and nationality. Plus, China has a completely different market. Before committing, weigh the pros and cons. Now, I think the pros vastly outweigh the cons, but there are real trade-offs to going online. I'll put further reading in the description. Okay, you've committed, and you're going to be an outreach master. In fact, you're going to be the next Bill Nye. Reality check. You're not. The average scientist has followers in the hundreds. Only a small percentage break the 1,000 mark, and a truly infinitesimal number get beyond that. But that's okay. Even if you start with mostly your peers, you're communicating, and you'll benefit from that exchange. As you continue posting, your following will grow, and with it, your public reach and impact. So how do you grow your followers? Well, obviously you've got to make content, but the content also has to be good, which begs the question, what is good content? Well, that strongly depends on your audience. If you're reaching out to farmers, your content is going to be very different than to tweens. I found the following resonates. Things that entertain or add value to news. Images always help, as does a sense of humor, and if you're willing to take the risk, getting a little personal. That's my approach. Your mileage may vary. Also, as a caveat, I'm not an influencer. But you know who is an influencer? Actual influencers. As a demonstration of the power of social media for networking and knowledge exchange, I reached out and I asked some. You can check the whole thread out, but these are working scientists who have won Twitter. They're the SciComm elite. Each has tens or hundreds of thousands of followers, and their advice is nicely summed up by this response by Steve Gibbons. Have fun, be honest, share what excites you, block the trolls without mercy, and above all, be kind. Have fun.